So we understand that many discussions this week will center around the uh, abundance of capital in the industry, the pressure on rates, and we've just released a report uh, this week, the 2015 AIR Global Catastrophe Model Loss Report, that I think is an important perspective on this. Uh, it tallies the overall uh, losses on a global basis based on our models and our industry exposure databases, and I think it gives helpful perspective on both what we've seen over the past few years and the potential going forward. Uh, for example, the average annual insured catastrophe loss coming out of our models is $74 billion. If you look at what's happened over the past few years, we've been far below average, and that's certainly been a factor in, in the current market environment, and that will change for sure. Uh, of course, if we look forward on, on a going forward basis, one of the interesting things is there's a tremendous gap between insured and insurable losses. In fact, if you look at the one in a hundred year actual insurable loss, the potential out there, it's north of $500 billion. So there remains a great potential out there uh, we see uh, for companies to cover insured catastrophe loss.